Okay, for the second lesson, we're going to have a look at writing a simple melody using chord notes. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to insert, well, I've already inserted a new MIDI track, and I'm just going to show you how to do that. So just go to your initial track, uh, right-click on it, and go Insert MIDI Track, and it will insert a new MIDI track for you. Um, if you right-click and go to Rename, you can rename your track, um, which is pretty handy to do because once we build up, you know, 20, 30 tracks, it can get hard to uh, distinguish what's what. So if you're continually... Uh, uh, renaming your tracks and keeping a record of what you've done. It's generally good practice to get into. But anyway, I'm just going to use the melody track that I've already created and we'll get started with this lesson. So the way we're going to start this out is by copying our original chord track on track one down to our MIDI track on uh, track two, which I've called Melody. All right, so this might uh, be a bit strange, but um, it'll make sense in a second. So what we're going to do is we're going to double click on our the top bar of this MIDI clip and we drag a box around our MIDI notes within this clip. And we are going to hit zero on our keyboard, so the number zero. And what that does is it deactivates the chord notes, but it allows us to see what the chords are. So when we write melodies, we have to have chords in mind. Our melody has to have an implied harmony um, at the very least. So we use uh, this method to actually view our chords so we know what they are when we're writing our tracks. So just a quick tip here, and there'll be a few quick tips in this, uh, in this episode. Um, but if we press the fold button on the top left-hand side, what it does is um, gets rid of any note that's not being used in our chord progression. So this here will give us the C minor or C natural minor scale. And these are generally the notes that will work well with our chord progression. Okay, We'll talk about using chord notes and stuff in a second, but I thought I would just uh, point this out. So you can, um, if you're not good with scales or if you struggle to understand what the, uh, the chord notes actually are or the notes within a scale actually are, you can press this fold key to work out what they are and work out which ones work well with your chord progression. But anyway, we'll move on. Uh, first things first, I'm going to set the grid to uh, quavers. I always like to start with quavers. So I've got smaller um, grid spaces to double click notes in and uh, actually work. So we are going to draw in our melody above the chords here. So they're in a different range or I guess the octave above so they don't clash with our chords. Now, what we are going to do is in each bar, I guess we have a chord. For the first melody, it's going to be very simple. We are only going to use chord notes. That is, in this bar here, we are only going to use the notes C, E flat, and G uh, in this melody, in this bar here, to create a melody. In this bar here, the only, uh, the only chord notes we are going to use, or the only notes we are going to use, are A flat, C, and E flat. Likewise, in this bar here, I'm sure you get the picture, but we're going to use F, A flat, and C. And in this bar here, we are only going to use B flat, D, and F. So we are going to just go through and um, yeah, click in, I guess, a random type melody. Well, I'm just going to come up with something, and then I'm going to explain what I've done at the end of the track. But we'll work through it. Uh, we'll work through it to start off with. But before we begin, I'm going to bring Massive on to the track. So just click and drag on top, and I'm just going to close it for now and just use the uh, the basic sound. So that way when we decide to play it, um, we can hear what we've come up with so far. So the first note I'm going to click in, I'm going to click in an E flat that is a quaver length and then I'm going to go a G which is I guess two quaver lengths or a crotchet length or two quavers tied together. Back to the E flat and then C for a crotchet and then E flat for another crotchet. Now I'm going to continue this rhythm, but uh, just use uh, the chord notes from the next bar. So in this bar, I'm only going to use these three notes, just up the octave. So let's have a go with this. And then A flat, and then we'll come back to E flat, C, quite similar. Let's have a listen to what we've got so far. Cool. We're going to do a similar type thing, same rhythm, just the uh, different chord notes or using the chord notes from this bar. So I'm going to start with F, go up to the A flat, back to the F, uh, come down to the C, back to the F. 
And in the last bar, I'm going to do something a little bit different to make it more interesting. Uh, just a how to uh, move up the octave. Um, all you have to do is drag your mouse over to the left hand side until it becomes a magnifying glass. And if you drag up and down, uh, you can drag up and down an octave to see more video notes. Likewise, if you drag left and right, and that's why it becomes a magnifying glass, you can zoom in and out on notes. You can do this up the top as well if you uh, move the magnifying glass up to the top and click up and down. You can drag and zoom in on notes. But anyway, back to what we're doing. Uh, so we are going to finish off this melody with uh, something a bit different just to kind of create a bit of interest. So we've got a B flat major chord here. Uh, so I'm going to go B flat down to the F, uh, back to the B flat. It's the same rhythm so far, but I think I'm just going to finish off the end uh, using quavers. F, D, F, D. All right, let's have a listen to our melody so far. Okay, so now we have a melody we could use for our, for our composition. But what we're going to do now is we're going to progress through the video series and we're going to look at more complex ways to write melodies. So an example is we're going to start using uh, more complex rhythms, so things like syncopation. We're going to use um, seventh chord notes, so we're going to use the seventh interval of each chord in our melodies to kind of make, uh, a little bit, make our melodies a little bit more interesting. We're also going to look at passing notes and auxiliary notes uh, again, to make, it, to make our melodies more interesting. So yeah, continue through the series. Make sure you watch all the videos in the melody section and then have a go at coming up with a melody that works for your composition. <laughs> 